France, shockwave after the beating of a black man. Paris four police officers were placed in police custody on Friday after the violent beating of a black man in Paris, a case that shocked President Emmanuel Macron, and revived the recurring debate in France on racism and police violence. The French President Emmanuel Macron denounced in the evening an unacceptable aggression and images which are ashamed and asked the government to quickly make him proposals to fight more effectively against all discrimination. A protest against a controversial bill to restrict the right to film police officers on duty, which had been banned by the police headquarters, may well take place in Paris on Saturday after an interim decision by an administrative court. The four officials suspended Thursday, were taken into custody at the beginning of the afternoon in the premises of the IGPN, General Inspectorate of the National Police. They are targeted by an investigation for willful violence by a person holding public authority, forgery in public writing and for acts of racism, a judicial source told AFP. As early as Thursday, the victim Michelle Zeckler, a music producer, told the press that the police had insulted him and called him dirty nigger several times by beating him up. The video of the beating, broadcast on social media as of Thursday and widely shared, over 14 million views, sent shock waves through to the top of the state. Through big names in sport, such as footballers Antoine Griezmann and Kylian Mbappé and music, such as singers Benjamin Biela or Aya Nakamura. Mr. Macron was very shocked by the images showing Michel Zeckler, 41, badly beaten in the entrance of his music studio in Paris. According to video footage, the police took him out and continued to beat him in the street before taking him to the police station. Nausea, headlined the left-wing Daily Liberation, on a photo of the bloody face of the producer. Police violence the executive implicated, posted the newspaper Le Monde in one. Gerald Darmanin, the divisive minister of the interior, the embodiment of a security strategy, was received Thursday evening by Mr. Macron, who asked him for very clear sanctions against the police. Shortly after, the minister announced that he was asking for the dismissal of the four police officers, the fourth, who had arrived as reinforcements is accused of having thrown a tear gas canister in the studio, and accused them of having soiled the uniform of the republic. Violence, Racism and Videos this case raises questions about structural racism and violence within the French police, categorically denied by the authorities, but fueled by a series of cases in recent years. The French police have a structural problem of violence, sociologist Fabian Jabar told AFP, claiming that no country in Western Europe is aware of such a large police problem. The beating comes a few days after the brutal dismantling on Monday of a migrant camp set up in the center of Paris during a media campaign by associations helping them. The images of this evacuation, filmed by journalists and activists, shocked and gave rise to a report from the IGPN, which denounced a disproportionate use of force on the part of a commissioner who made a quirk, foot to a migrant. These cases, revealed by images broadcast on the internet, arise in the midst of controversy over a bill aimed at restricting the right to film police officers on duty. This law has been denounced by journalists and rights defenders as an attack on the freedom to inform, and has given rise, over the past two weeks, to demonstrations which have often escalated. The text, adopted Tuesday by the National Assembly and which has yet to be considered by the Senate, has crystallized passions and antagonisms. Praised by the police unions, supported by the right and the far right, its Article 24 punishes one year in prison and a fine of €45,000 for the dissemination of the image of the face or any other element of identification of members of the security forces in intervention when it undermines their physical or mental integrity. The left and the defenders of civil liberty see it as a disproportionate attack on the freedom to inform and the sign of an authoritarian drift of the Macron presidency. To calm this anger, Prime Minister Jean Castex announced the creation of an independent commission charged with proposing a new wording of Article 24. But parliamentarians shouting for interference as services said on Friday that the commission would limit itself to formulating proposals to reconcile absolute respect for the right to information and the protection of the security forces, essential in a democratic society.